What is up y'all? It's your boy B and welcome back to my channel. What is up y'all? It's your boy Boris and today we're gonna talk about the different styles of snowboarding. So today I'm gonna go over the four major different styles of snowboarding. I know a lot of you would tell me that there's so much more snowboarding styles out there. But today, I'm just gonna go over the four major and most common snowboarding styles. And my goal at the end of this video is to help those people who wanted to start or learn snowboarding. In terms of picking the right snowboard, with these four common styles, you can determine what kind of snowboard you should buy depending on what kind of riding you wanted to focus on. So let's jump right into it. So the first style that I'm gonna talk about is free riding. So free riders, so these are the people who likes to rip tree lines, it's called free riding. They like to do whatever, like anything under the sun in this kind of terrains, you know, just playing around the powder, ripping those tight tree lines, bombing down those steep terrains. So for free riding, the suggested snowboard are those powder boards or directional all mountain powder boards. So these boards have medium to stiff reflex and these boards have a directional shape meaning they have a longer nose and a tapered tail. So this helps them to lift the nose while cruising the powder and with the tapered tail it's easier for you to initiate turns quickly especially when you're doing three lines. So if this is the style that you wanted to learn you should go for powder boards. So the second style is freestyling. Freestylers are those people who spend most of their time in the parks which are located in ski resorts. So in these parks we have those man-made jumps from small, medium, large and extra large. And we have those boxes, rails. And these are the people who want to spend most of the time doing tricks, buttering on groomers doing 180s, 360s. These are the riders who just spend the whole day in the park. If this is a style of snowboarding that you like, you would prefer to buy a snowboard that has a soft reflex, which will be more playful and easy to maneuver, and also have a twin shape, which means the length of the nose is equal to the length of the tail, so you can ride switch. Number three style is all mountain. These are the people or type of riders that spend time equally on tree lines and parks. So basically they can do both. I myself, when I'm riding with my friends, I wanted to spend the first half of my day going to the tree lines, you know, doing steep trains, looking for powder lines. And at the second half of the day, I'm just gonna go in the park and then practice tricks and stuff like that. So those are the all mountain riders. But all mountain have a two subcategories under it, which is the all mountain freestyle and all mountain free ride. So as the name says, all mountain free ride is leaning more to free riding. They're all mountain riders, but they're leaning more towards free riding. They spend a little bit more of free riding than staying in the park. And as opposed to all mountain freestyling, which does the opposite more time in the park, less time in tree line. But in general, these riders can do a little bit of everything. Hence, they're called all mountain riders. So if this is a style of riding that you like, there's so much variety of snowboard that you can pick. You would prefer to buy a snowboard which has a medium flex. And um, there's so much variety out there in the market. There's a directional, directional twin, twin board. You can always talk to the sales associates and ask them questions about this specific board that you're looking at, if it's good for this kind of riding that you like. I'm pretty sure they will answer those type of questions. So the fourth style is urban riding. These are the type of riders who spend most of the time or take advantage of a snowstorm or powders within the city. Basically, they're park riders. The only difference is they do their park riding in the city. They don't have to pay lift tickets in the ski resorts. So basically they're snowboarding for free and you'll see them doing tricks in the roads, in the streets, in the staircases. So if this is the kind of riding that you like, 
basically the board that you wanted to buy is a kind of board that is focused more on park riding as well which has a softer flex which will make it more playful and easier to maneuver and make some presses as well and all in all it's easier to do some tricks on it so that's it guys those are the four major and most common snowboard riding styles if you have some questions please let me know in the comment section down below and if you think that i missed something please let me know as well and i also make a video citing snowboards specific to this kind of snowboarding style so stay tuned for that so guys that's it if you like this video please don't forget to smash the like button click the notification bell and don't forget to share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace